Well, I'm so happy to be here with you today with uh, Janet Weldon, the AVP of Global Enablement Strategy at Sun Life. You have a lot of things resting <laughs> on your shoulders, a lot of responsibilities. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at Sun Life? For sure. Thanks for having us, George. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to today. Our role at Sun Life really about, is about Gen AI adoption enterprise-wide across the organization. And a big part of enterprise Gen AI adoption, of course, is data and AI literacy. Um, so the accountability for that falls within my team as well. Wow, yeah. thank you. I, I know there's a lot to learn from you and from your team, I'm sure. Thank you. And there are a lot of great examples that I know you can provide and a lot of lessons that they can provide to, to the rest of us. I'm really curious about um, Sun Life's partnership with IBM and how um, maybe IBM has helped drive that innovation forward within Sun Life and you know, help with the, the whole efficiency and modernizations of its operations. For sure. Yeah, Sun Life's been a client of IBM's for many years, but we're really excited right now about Watson X, and we've been doing um, some really exciting experimentation on the mainframe modernization side of things. So we've been looking at how um, legacy code conversion of COBOL and PL1 can help us to accelerate some of our client initiatives, and it also can help us mitigate some of that retirement risk as folks are, are approaching that stage of their career where there's a risk of losing some of that knowledge. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I was talking to Monav earlier and we were talking about Fortran and COBOLT and uh, all these uh, very old programming languages, but of course, all these documentation that goes That's on right. with everybody that retires and uh, it's no longer there. So Yeah, and it's really exciting that we can not only modernize the code itself, but we can also convert it into natural language. So you can start to extract mm -hmm. some of those historical business rules and mm -hmm. things like that out of the code, mm -hmm. which is a really great opportunity. So, you, you know, you were mentioning Gen AI, mm -hmm. AI. How would Sun Life ensure that ethical AI practices are being included in its operations? It's such an important topic and finding that healthy tension between innovation and risk management is really important to us. Um, so one of the things we did very early in our generative AI journey was form a community of practice and the early members of the community of practice were from legal risk, compliance, privacy, HR. We've brought them on the journey with us right from day one. And that group was really instrumental in forming some guardrails around the adoption and experimentation with generative AI at Sun Life. And those guardrails have proven true through our experimentation over the course of the last year. Um, and it was really great to have them involved along the way. And of course, everybody's talking about human in the loop, employee in the loop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so again, that's where the data and AI literacy comes in, is making sure we've trained our employees on asking good questions and thinking liter um, critically about the outcomes and that they're well-versed in the, in the use of AI. And we've recently announced, um, we partnered with CIFAR, the Canadian Institute for Advanced Research, and we've been able to offer to all Sun Life employees globally um, the Destination AI Certificate. Um, we're seeing great adoption of, of the program, so we're really excited about training folks that way as well. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I think it's so important, so critical that companies invest in that training and that uh, literacy of uh, data AI. So I'm very glad to see that a company such as Sun Life is doing that. Now, a lot of other companies that are also trying to jump on the bandwagon and getting the benefits of Gen AI, what can they learn from uh, the successful adoption that Sun Life has had of Gen AI uh, recently? Yeah, I would say establishing those guardrails and that engagement yeah. um, of our control partners right at the beginning has been really, really important. And I, I can't stress enough having um, really great partners like IBM to um, be a part of the journey and also help understand the enterprise ready use of generative AI. It's very different than what's publicly available. And um, so that enterprise adoption and use of generative AI is really critical. Um, I would say, again, the culture piece and the employee training is so important. Generative AI is everywhere. It's in everything that we're, do what, that we're doing. And mm -hmm. so making sure we've got a culture that's ready for the adoption of generative AI is really key. And then we all, are talking about trying to find those perfect use cases. And I think having the use cases that really help us to deliver on our purpose are important to prioritize and would certainly encourage other organizations to do the same. Thank you so much, Janet, for putting the lights on Gen AI and really showing us how a company such as Sun Life can do things properly. Thank you yeah, so much for having us. It. Really Thank appreciate you. it.